if I can now read of my struggles in the Bible, then is not the Bible telling me about how my enemy and how long my enemy has made the world suffer? See, I'm struggling after I overcame the creator of my struggles. Now I'm having a problem getting people to see that I defeated the creator of my struggles, right? But now they telling me about how Jesus saved me. And I'm saying, well, you don't even know my struggles. So how could you tell me Jesus saved me when you still let me struggle and you ministering to me as I struggle, but I've overcome the struggle, right? So now, <clears throat> what I'm saying is if the Holy Bible legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally testified, for which is defined as to make a solemn declaration under oath for the purpose of establishing a fact in the Holy Bible. No, wait. No, you know, this, um, okay, hold on. Hold on. If the Holy Bible, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally testified, for which is defined as to make a solemn declaration under oath for the purpose of establishing a fact in the King James Version of the, whole, of the Bible Hub edition of John 11, verses 45 through 53, which says, Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, What do we? For this man doeth many miracles. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. And one of them named Caiaphas, being the high priest that same year, said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it be expedient for us that one man should die for the people, and, and that the whole nation perish not. And this spake him not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation and not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. Then from that day forth they took counsel to put to for they took counsel to for to put him to death. And King James Version of the Bible Hub edition of Matthew 24 verses one through four says, and Jesus went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, see ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? See, now this is a question mark. See what I'm saying? And what shall be the signs of thy coming and of the end of the world? Another question. And Jesus answered, and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. See, so now, who is Jesus talking about? Because we know, according to John 11, 
verses 45 through 43, we know that the high priest Caiaphas was talking about Jesus. He said as much in the testimony of court. John said that he said Jesus' name. Now, but Jesus, now Matthew said in Matthew 24, verses 1 through 4, that Jesus said, take heed that no man deceive you. Now, is Jesus now talking about the men and the women who are now telling you his testimony? If Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives and told his, his disciples um, that not one stone should be, um, uh, what? Shall, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. So how then do you keep, because if he's talking about the temple, listen, Jesus went out and departed from the temple. So now you're telling me that that mortar, that brick and mortar church you go to, Jesus is not talking about that stone, brick, wood, whatever you done changed it to, is still the temple where the high priest Caiaphas will be the leader of it. That's a man. And he said, don't let no man deceive you. Now, if I'm telling my truth, when I was surrounded by darkness and I told my truth to give you life, then how is Jesus talking about me? I'm not talking about Jesus. See, look, let me show you. See, I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm talking about me. And I'm answering the questions. Okay, listen. And when Jesus went out and departed from the temple in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Owens counties in the state of Florida. Because, see, he got to come back if you talking about my testimony. So I'm bringing Jesus back after he departed out of the temple. Like, so, okay, listen, Jesus walked out of the temple this time. The, la the, the last time Jesus went into the temple, they arrested him. And they brought him in to be judged in the temple in Jerusalem. That's when they charged Jesus with blasphemy. Just like your religious teachers trying to charge me with blasphemy. But I'm saying, hey, I don't believe in Jesus. My family know it. Everybody who know me know I'm not a Christian. I don't go to church. But what I'm saying is, but... My actions now are not those of then. I'm bringing you out of something I was in. I'm saying this is personal, but you starving me, but you feeding your preachers. But I'm telling you the same testimony with the answers, though. See, I'm saying, okay, see, Jesus went out and departed from the temple. Well, now, okay, you can say, well, I went into Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church in Eatonville, Florida to join it. I was cast out. Now, do I now don't testify against the high priest Caiaphas I ran into? So you want me to lie. But, you, but look what Jesus said. So now, wouldn't Jesus be saying, Look at Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church, right? After he left out of there, right? Because now Jesus leaving out of Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church because the preacher can't speak the word of God. See, he, the Bible says now he's a child of the devil. He throw the truth out. Now you telling me that I'm in court and I'm defeating the cricket judge with the written word, the written laws, right? Now I'm reading the Bible and you telling me I don't see the descendants of Pontius Pilate violate my rights. And then I don't see Pastor Willie C. Barnes 
saying, do you know that it be expedient that one man must die? Listen, let me. I'm, how am I not supposed to read this and this happening to me? If the Holy Bible legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally testified, that means it already happened, for which is defined as to make a solemn declaration under oath for the purpose of establishing a fact in the King James Version of the Bible Hub edition of John 11 verses 45 through 53. This is what the Bible says. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did. Now, here my family who didn't come to court with me, I didn't see them in them, but I saw my brother, my grandmama, and my wife. Never my daughter, son, no, cousins, none of them. Now, they came, my cousin came 10 years later. I was in court 10 years before he came in. My brother was in court 10 years before him, but he say he wasn't. But he put me in a mental hospital right now. I'm trying to keep my mind and I'm trying to keep, because I'm the lawyer for me, right? So I have to keep all of the evidence, but I'm hurt because the man lying, they put me in a mental hospital. But I'm saying, well, man, I'm fighting for my goddamn life, man. But you lying and my daddy's saying all this. And I'm saying, are y'all trying to flip my mind, but you not trying to help me win? You the goddamn enemy. Then I'm reading about Rebecca and, 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 and Joseph, uh, Jacob plotting against Esau and tricking Isaac. And I'm saying, well, my mama dead. My daddy and my brother is, is lying to me. My brother put me in a mental hospital, but I'm not supposed to see the parallels. I'm saying, this, this shit is happening to me. Now I can't go to court. I can't go to church. And you starving me and you done took all my money. And I'm saying, well, damn, man. So this is what you've been preparing for the return of Jesus now, I'm one man. Now, let me show you what y'all doing to me. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary. So, see, y'all, if Mary was living, wouldn't y'all go to his father or his mother like the Jews did? And had seen the things what Jesus did. So, now y'all telling me what Jesus did as if you living during the time of Jesus. But you telling me that what I'm doing, you can't see but you charging people to give them sight of this scripture. But I'm saying, well, why y'all can't see this scripture is now current events. This is like a crime that happened again. <laughs> see what I'm saying? I'm saying, so now if you went inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida, you would have saw me just like these people saw the things that Jesus did. But you never went to fucking court, but you sitting up here just acting as if I'm not a victim. But yet Jesus saved me from from what? What 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 the um high priest Caiaphas told Pastor Willie C. Barnes to do and all these preachers. Let me show you what he said. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees. See, so when I defeated the, my um my Pontius Pilate in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, I went into Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church to join it and also bring the blessing to the church. The jobs and all of the stuff that I heard people saying that they wanted, they needed adequate this and all of this. When, but when I came to Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church in Edenville, Florida, that married my wife and I as teenagers, the man cast me out. But my wife still went there, my grandmother, my, my Miss Williams, 
my nieces and nephews, because Miss Williams took them there. So my whole family, not whole, whole, but really, yeah, my wife, children, that's my whole family, was in that church, and he throw me out. Now I had to go with, he had my wife, my children, he had everybody turn against me. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, ain't nobody looking at it from my point of view. I'm saying I went to church to make my family whole at the time that I was, I had lost confidence in myself because I said, well, I, well, I had already defeated them, right? But I didn't want to go through this. See, this is what I'm talking about. I had already, I had no choice but to go to court. That's when they started trying to throw me out, but they had took my house, my cars, all my money. They had broke me. They took my people's, um, you know, like my wife didn't believe in me no more. My children thought I was crazy. I'm saying, golly, so now I got to absorb all of that, right? And now I got to read what the Bible has already testified. You see what I'm saying? For which is defined as to make a solemn declaration because I'm in court. So see, he, the Bible is now testifying against my enemies. See, this is this is case law to me. <laughs> this ain't me looking for Jesus. This me showing you Pastor Willie C. Barnes. This me showing you all of these Pharisees, chief priests, high priests, scribes, elders, how do they know Jesus when they won't even accept your truth? See, I'm saying with they, if you think that they would only reject my truth, look, look what look what they said. Believe, um, and and had some and had seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. So wouldn't that be like you, like me? I'm saying, well, I'm going to Pastor Willie C. Barnes to tell him the things that the devil was doing to destroy the marriage that he presided over when my wife was 19, the first day on her 19th birthday, he presided over the wedding. And I'm telling him, man, the devil done attacked the wedding that you see. Because I'm saying, well, you brought this union together under my my wife's God. My wife, I never told her I was my God. But I knew she had one. And I wasn't tripping on it. That's what I'm telling y'all. I wasn't tripping on that because my grandmama. So I'm, I ain't tripping. I know that's not my world. I had already been thrown out of it. But now I'm saying, okay, well, I done did what I said I was going to do when I was six years old. I go back to the church and I'm throwed out. Now the damn churches is with the state of Florida starving me. Both of them is taking tithes and taxes. And I'm saying, well, hey, man, section three of the Florida Constitution. See, now I'm telling you the law they breaking. But y'all starving me to aid and abet the people that the Bible is telling. This is what they doing. So some of them went to the Pharisees, but I went. So now I'm saying, well, hey, man, I went to, I, I went to church. They throw me out. Now I'm telling you that. But now you starving me and you giving the church money. But what I'm saying is, where is the knowledge they not telling you how to survive what I'm going through or what Jesus went through. They telling you to pay them as you suffer in it. They not even trying to get you through it. See, I'm trying to get you through it. Then I'm trying to settle you in it. I'm saying, look, once we get out of it, look, we got to go. Now we got to grow our own food. We got to now... We got to build our own houses. See, I'm taking you into the promised land and then I'm establishing you. That ain't never happened with us. They let us go. And then they we had to go back and work for them. And that's what my friend's doing now. They making me go back and work for them. And I'm saying, well, what about the corporation, man? What about what I'm trying to establish a plantation for 
descendants of slaves so they can grow freely without aid or assistance from the devil. See, I'm saying, nah, man, you don't, I, my books is good. I, everything was good. But now here come the descendants of slaves. See, now, I'm, so did somebody tell them something doesn't happen, right? So listen, then many of the, many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did. Now my grandmama named Mary too. Did some people go to my grandmother who name is Mary, Dolly, uh, Racket? That's her name. And see, that's what's so crazy. I'm saying, well, hey, man, my grandmama named Mary. And see, but, oh, that ain't your story. I'm, exactly. But it's similar in nature. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying I'm going through this because you taking me through this. But I'm telling you, I don't know the Bible, man. You're forcing me while you starve me. And I'm saying, damn, man, this is my real life. Y'all out here fucking starving me. I'm reading the Bible to show you that I'm approved. But you, now you will pay your preacher, but you will hold up my money. You've been holding up my life for 15 goddamn years. I just turned 55. I was 39 when the devil stole my life. And now my family, friends, the state of Florida, the world done aided and abetted the devil in taking my fucking life. And then I'm here starving and y'all making up history and lying. And I'm saying, see, man, this is what I was telling y'all about Lewis and Clark down the goddamn Mississippi River. And y'all said they was the first one on the Great Expedition. And I'm saying the first one means the first to inhabit. I was telling them the goddamn definition of what they were saying. And I'm saying, well, if you're meeting people along, the, along your journey, along your expedition, how in the hell is you the first one? You meeting people. You, what you saying is you the first European. Fail me. See, just like y'all. Now, now, if my grandson talk about his goddamn granddaddy, you going to fail him too. So if he do what his mama did and talk about his granddaddy, y'all going to fail him. Because you don't want this story getting out. So what? This is the shit I've been saying since I was in school. If it is two goddamn histories, why did you fail me when I was telling you that my grandmother is from Melville, Louisiana, and I had been on the Chafalai fucking river? I've been there. My grandmama on land. I own it. I'm in school telling my history. It got failed. I'm telling these people, I'm saying, man, listen, my people own land on both sides of my family. I'm telling them, I'm saying, look, man, my people just like, not my, my mama and my daddy chose their life. But my other people in my family was, was, uh, uh, PhDs, man. <laughs> All of them got degrees. My mama and my daddy smart. They just went a different route. See, but I'm saying I'm trying to bring my family out of my daddy's decision. Now, you telling me when I read the Bible and it says the iniquities of the father is passed on to the children that I'm not seeing? So I'm saying, so why y'all forcing me to pass your iniquity on to my children after I went to court and trying to take your father's iniquity off of you as I read it in the Bible? See, so now which of you Jews, nine to Mary, and had seen the things which I have did, believe on me? See, man, you can't. Look, look, man. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told what thing, told them what things Jesus had done, then gathered. See, then gathered the chief priests and the, and, and the Pharisees a council and said, what do we 
For this man doeth many miracles. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. See, so they telling you they didn't want you believing in Jesus. God damn it, it's in the Bible. So anybody who doing the work, they going to, you, you Jesus, you Jesus, and they going to get you out of there, man. If they did it to Jesus, they throw me out. Why y'all can't see they did it to me? But you don't see that I went in the goddamn court and wouldn't leave you? Even though I was mad with your your leader, man. Do you understand? I used to hate church so bad I wouldn't listen to fucking Christian music. I hated that shit. Ask my, <laughs> we would be going to church and I would be playing rap music. Going to church. I hated that shit. I hated it all, man. I hated everything about, and now don't y'all see why? I'm reading about my torture. So you motherfuckers went, y'all Pharisees and y'all chief priests, no, you will never let Jesus in church. You will never let a righteous person in church, male or female. It's not written for you to do it. Listen, y'all, look what they're, this is their instruction. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told things with uh, them what things Jesus had done. So that means that's how when Miss Harriet Tugman, if you read, she say that some would, they would send slaves in to find the root. They see, so, so see black people done kept us slaves. They just like the Bible saying, see, look, but some of them went their ways to the Pharisees, see, their ways. That's, that's the way you think. They was mad with Jesus, like some of these cats mad with me. See what I'm saying? And told them what things Jesus had done. See, like, they, hey, man, they said, man, I tell man, he, he doing the work of us, man. See, and they reading it. They know, listen. Then gathered. See, that's when they start gathering, man. And Tommy, man, Tommy in church, I mean, Tommy in court saving us. But he done came here, man. So then they sent him. They sent them Pharisees to try to make it look like they helping me. They, but they was the goats ministering to me and took 15 years from me, you, and everybody while they was taking up tides. See, they won't look. Then gathered the chief. Then, see, after, the, after Jesus did what I did and I did what Jesus did, then they gathered. Look, here it is. Then gathered. Then that's after the chief priests and the and the, and the uh, Pharisees a council. See, but I'm already in court. See, council. That's a they took up. That's like a court. They took up and they gathered evidence and try and and see. But look what they said. What do we see? Not God. Where God at? Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council. Not praying. They didn't pray to no God. They took up counsel with themselves and said, see, they didn't pray. They said, just like I'm telling y'all, what do we? That ain't no prayer. That's me asking my friends, like I'm saying, hey, man, we need water. We need food. We, oh, they go, man, go ahead on, man. Get on, go on, go on, man, get away from me. Now my goddamn people in famine don't know how to go to court, don't know nothing. And these people done went on, man. And still trying to run me crazy. But I'm saying, listen, I'm a veteran. The country told me to, oh, fuck that, man. Fuck all that. I'm saying, wait, 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 bro. Hold up. Everything I got, I got through that oath. So I don't know how to teach my children nothing else but how to believe in their country because I come from motherfuckers telling me that this is not my country. And I'm saying, hey, man. That's your shit. See, look, let me show you. But some of them went their ways. I'm saying, see, I'm saying that's your shit, bro. That's your way. See, now I'm able to go to the Bible and show you that these are the Pharisees that's telling you that way you was born is not yours. This is, but this way I was born. If my ancestor was from Africa, then they from Africa. But if I was born in Daytona Beach, Florida, how the hell I'm an Afro-American? What the hell is you talking about? I'm a Floridian-American. 
I was born in Florida. So I'm a Floridian. I'm not an African. I'm a Floridian American. See, because I'm, I live in Florida in America. Just like you say you from the West Indy, American West Indies, or you from the British West Indies. See, it's still, bro, it's British West Indies. It's American West Indies. See, you got Puerto Rico. See, they could be America if they want to be. See what I'm saying? Nah, but you saying that Folk Houses Incorporated can't exist. And these are black people, man. So why then would you be mad with a white man when you doing what the Bible says? See, you live into the strip, see? But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, what do we? For this man doeth many miracles in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning. In the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning. In the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in 2024 at 930 in the morning. On January 12th in 2024 at 328 in the morning. <laughs> if we let him thus alone, all men and women and children will believe on him for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Council Senior. And the Romans, for whom are now the United States, the 50 states and territories of the United States of America, and the Romans, see, because now Pope supposed to come, shall come and take away both our place and nation. See, that's a goddamn nation. So now, me, Jesus didn't start no corporation so he could have a nation against their nation. He did not set up his kingdom here. They set up their kingdom on his death. Now, let me show you. So they say, and, and, and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. So that's what they were scared of. That's what then happened in Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church. See, the United States of America is supposed to come take away their place and nation. That, see, that's what their forefathers was afraid of. And now that I went and sued Pastor Willie C. Barnes for racketeering, the goddamn Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church is mine. But see, you know, see, but you say that it's supposed to be Jesus, though. See, look, but they turn on Jesus like they turn on me. He did the same thing his father did and told them to do. See, they read the Bible to show themselves approved. See, they keep the truth away from y'all. That's what they mandated to do. Listen, but we, but what do we see? And then when they ask what to do, see, the high priest Caiaphas tell them. For thus, for this man doeth many miracles, if we let him thus alone. Now you say that's the son of man, and now y'all say that's y'all Lord and Savior, but don't you see your preachers say that they can't leave him alone? <laughs> Look, if we, if we, that's a multitude, that's more than one, let him, one man. So now don't y'all see that all these church leaders against him, one man? who in court defending the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Why is the church now a domestic enemy? But I showed y'all in Section 3 of the Florida Constitution that they stealing tax money. And see, they, they, the ties that they not paying taxes on, that's thievery. Now, did not Jesus say that they have turned my father's house into a place of merchandise? And now they stealing the tax on the money that they collecting. Bro, they done violated the law, man and, and God. Jesus, man. And y'all keep paying them. But look now. So now they have gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees at council and said, what do we? No God in this because Jesus would be your Lord and Savior. They plotting against him like they plotting against me. But Jesus was out giving sight like I'm giving you sight 
and Jesus took the evil spirit out of the boy like I took the evil spirit out of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida and put it in a lawsuit. See, I didn't even defame the pig. See, I cleaned the pig that, G that Jesus um, um, dirtied when he put the evil spirit in the pig. See, I now delivered the pig from that evil spirit and I put it in a lawsuit, and now I'm showing you the forbidden tree like the serpent showed your mother Eve. Now I'm telling my wife, now I'm saying, see, this is what Adam should have did. See, Adam should have followed the law, and then you wouldn't have been slandered. See, I'm, I'm doing for you what Adam didn't do for Eve. See, I'm doing for you what Abraham didn't do for Sarah. See, when you didn't understand who I was, I went and I let the world know who the devil was who was talking to you. See, now I'm saying y'all don't see now the story is the serpent on trial for trying to mess up the Garden of Eden. See, the law now is on the serpent and it's now freeing my wife from that conversation. But how else do I save her mind? Do I beat her body? Or do I now just talk to her and like the serpent talk to Eve? See, I'm saying, hey, babe, you know your husband. You know your boyfriend. Don't I look the same? Don't I sound the same? So how am I any different? See, now all my friends, see, and all these haters, see, they going to start lying to make themselves relevant. See, they the ones is, is not relevant evidence. See, I'm relevant evidence to Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. I'm relevant evidence to Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. I'm relevant evidence to President Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. I'm relevant evidence to King Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. I'm re relevant evidence to Emperor Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. See, now you say, well, why didn't you say four councils? Because whatever kingdom come up against me, I collect it. Because now, how can you be the leader of that kingdom and you're not in accord with the covenant? You're not in accord with the Bible because I am he and you would be them. See, listen, but some of them, how can I be them when I am him? See, but some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. See, I'm not him. See, it would be now. Uh, but some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. have done in the civil and criminal court. See, that's my story. But I'm just showing you that the Pharisees, see, the people go to them. Just like they, y'all preachers are now the Pharisees. They're not me. I'm in court saving us with my personal truth. They say they saving y'all and bringing y'all to Jesus, but they took up counsel against me. So how then now is John 11 not testifying against them? Because I got it in court defending me. So look. For this man, so I'm a man doing the work inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida. I was just doing the work in Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in uh, 2024 at 9.30 in the morning. And the descendants of Pontius Pilate said that my life is not relevant to my life. I'm saying so, so how Jesus evidence that's hearsay not one word was written by jesus in self-defense people telling us what jesus said as they lie on me see i'm saying well how are they qualified to tell you about jesus and i'm not qualified to tell you about king tommy chancey council senior of folk houses incorporated i'm saying well if, I, if my simple name is simply tommy chancey council senior and then my rank is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Senior. And then my title is President Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated. And then you, the state of Florida, the descendants of Pontius Pilate, forced me to have to take the covenant away from them 
to then protect my garden of Eden and also to protect my wife, Benita Elaine Elch Castle. Then how can you take my testimony and my um, defense of my wife away when Jesus had no wife? Then I was also defending my grandmother, whose name is Mary, just like Jesus was defending his mother, whose name is Mary. I was taking care of my mother, my grandmother. You came and took all that away and then slandered me in the name of Jesus. So how y'all not guilty according to John 11? See, now you're showing yourself to be approved. You're showing that you're the Pharisees and 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 they told you the things which Jesus had did. See, I'm, I'm, that's how y'all know y'all read the Bible. And I'm telling you that Saul is actually Paul. And y'all say that God, Jesus talked to him. So see, look, you, you're taking up counsel with bad information. But when I give you the truth, and, I, and it's in evidence, you don't spread that gospel. You now act like the chief priests and the Pharisees. So now, you read this to show yourself approved. So you know that you plotting against me like they plotted against Jesus. But what I'm telling the people is, if I'm a veteran and I'm or, I was ordained by the United States of America when I was 18 years old to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. When was I derelict on my duty from 18 to 22? And then when did I not fulfill that oath when I saw the Constitution being violated when my rights was being violated? So see, I didn't cause no disturbance because somebody else was going through something. See, I would tell them what to do, but when if they don't want to go through it, right, that's what they telling me. But man, I ain't got time to go through that. I'm saying, I know, bro, but I ain't got nothing but time because I went through it. But now you just, you. I mean, I don't want to deal with that. I, but I'm saying, but you telling people by God and you over here violating the law and you supposed to be the veteran. And I'm saying, well, why y'all all mad with me? Because you done took up counsel with yourself. See, I'm reading it now. I'm, I'm seeing what y'all done done. For this man do of many miracles. So you saw what I did. So now when everybody coming, Y'all done been overran, so you gotta keep lying. See, for for if for we let him for for wait if we let him see for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Castle Senior. Thus alone, all men will believe on him, and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in 2024 at 930 in the morning. But y'all keep taking up tides. How can Pastor Willie C. Barnes be paid 30 pieces of silver and not be Judas? How can y'all continue to compensate this world that said this? And one of them named Caiaphas being the high priest that same year said unto them, see, which now I'm telling y'all. Ye know nothing at all. See that what I'm I'm saying? Y'all don't know nothing about what I did in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning. Huh? Some of y'all don't know what I did in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning. Some of y'all don't know what I did in the, in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in 2024 at 9.30 in the morning. But you will now argue with me based on what Jesus did on January 12th in 2024 at 3.42 in the morning. See, you not using your evidence, you using John 11. 
And then you saying it's Jesus. I'm saying, no, that's John 11. That's what John said. That's not what Jesus said. How could you say that's what Jesus said and it's hearsay? See, that wouldn't be admissible in court. But see, you could use my name in in any in any 50 states and territories of these United States of America. You can call him for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy. And my case appeared just like this John 11 appeared when I asked about me. When I asked about me, it came back John 11. So I'm saying, and I don't read the Bible, I have to look it up on the web. So now, are you saying that now I can't use John 11 against the Pharisees and the chief priests? But y'all here starving me like they went and seized Jesus? See, y'all seizing me day in. So now y'all not doing what was done to Moses, you damn Israelites, you Hebrews, you black Israelites, you black Hebrews, see you black Muslims, see that's what I'm saying, see y'all done made, y'all not one religion, y'all religions inside of religions, but y'all was the ones couldn't read and write and now y'all scholars. I'm saying don't y'all see man, our history is we couldn't read nor write. But now I have written over a hundred goddamn books that black people suppressing. I made it to a black church and now I can't sell a book, but you can, you can buy a Bible and you saying that that's not a place of merchandise. But check this. And one of them named Caiaphas being the high priest that same year said unto them, ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it be expedient for us no God in there. They say us. That one man shall die for the people. Where is this damn God that y'all keep talking about? That was the high priest Caiaphas. Just like Pastor Willie C. Buns said that I got to die so they, so they can keep lying to people. That's a nation of liars. That's a nation of, of thieves. That's what Jesus said. You have turned my father's house into a den of thieves. See, and here's the, see, so ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it be expedient for us that one man should die for the nation and not, the, and not, and, and that the whole nation perish not. See, he didn't care. So he killed Jesus because Jesus was shedding light on their, crim, their criminal activity in his father's house. Just like I'm saying, well, listen, man, when I was a kid, I saw the crime that was committed against me. So, man, listen, man, my grandmama kept telling me, I'm saying, so, grandmama, look what you done, you done got me killed. See, that's what I'm telling my grandmama. I say, see, you know I told you I didn't want to go into that shit. Now these motherfuckers trying to kill me. And you done died and left me. Now Pastor Willie C. Buns is trying to survive, just like the high priest guy offers. See, everybody under his command is trying to survive. So how can they read the Bible and not see that they done took up counsel with Pastor Willie C. Barnes against me, man? How the hell they don't know? See, y'all don't know and I didn't know. But now I'm telling y'all what John 11 saying about them. That one man should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not. And this back him, not of himself, but being the high priest that year. So see, that's what they doing. Well, this ain't me. God said this. I'm saying, no, man. The high priest Caiaphas said this just like you saying it. See, you are the, the, the leaders of that world. You are the leaders of that nation. And that's what you are mandated to defend, not Jesus. See, this is what I'm, they defend that church against Jesus. Don't y'all see? Ah, damn, man, it's right here in the strip. And this spoke he not of himself, but being the high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation, for this spiritual world. And now that's what Pastor Barnes is saying. He's saying, hey, man, 
hey man, I don't want to deal with that. Hit this man coming doing what he said. I mean, but I'm saying no, I did what the country told me to do. I'm not doing damn thing that I wanted to do. I'm doing what the country told me to do. Why he doing what the high priest Caiaphas told them to do to defend the church? Kill a motherfucker. Look. But being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die. That's against the Ten Commandments, man. Moses said, thy shall not kill. The church killed Jesus. They killed Minister Malcolm X, Dr. Martin Luther King, because they got to defend their nation. <laughs> Damn, man, y'all don't see? He prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation and not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. They had already left that shit, man. They had saw what Jesus saw. So they say now we're going to create this 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 um this story and now they're going to flock to us to hear it just like y'all do. And now they take your money just like Jesus said. They have turned him into merchandise. See, you go to hear the name and you pay the descendants who killed your Lord and Savior, just like he said. Listen, Jesus should die for that nation and not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. But see, what they what they didn't um, take into consideration, all of these churches are not tied together. See, if you look at Rome, see, all of the Catholic churches are tied together through the Pope. But look at all these black churches, all these Mexican churches, uh, uh, Puerto Rican churches, they not tied together. They got one leader or bishop that's got maybe two churches, four churches, five churches. See, but that's indoctrination because they not telling you about their story and how they overcame. Like I'm telling y'all how to take the evil spirit out of your life. And I'm telling you how to work to keep him out. See, I'm saying this ain't the time to rest. This is the time to be vigilant. See, now you have to now create a utopia from my truth so my truth can always defend you because you are in my image. See, you work for your stuff. You didn't con nobody. You didn't, you didn't take the easy road. See, that's why those who rode was easy, now road is hard. See, my road was hard and now it's easy. See, because all I got to do is tell the way that I made my road smooth. See, I didn't leave the stumbling block for you to stumble. What I did is I, is I um, tore up that, that, that paving and I, and I removed the lumps. I removed the, uh, the pit, uh, what they call them, uh, potholes. And then I re-leveled it with new gravel. And this gravel is forever lasting because I laid it down with the Florida Constitution. See, I paved this freedom road with the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the, Holy, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran. So see this road right here, if you travel on this road, you don't have to pay nobody. The, 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 the creator of this legal road, which is Tommy Chancey Council Sr., going to pay you to stay on that path. See, right now, you got to go to them, them, them Pharisees churches and you got to pay them so they can be prosperous. See, I paved the road to prosperity with freedom's documentation through emancipation so you can now become a rose that don't grow in the concrete, but grow in the soils of justice. 
See, I have broken the concrete. So now you can get your soil, get your uh, roots in the soil of my understanding. See what I'm saying? See, I'm like taking your mind and I'm planting it in truthful soil that I had to fertilize and till inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida. But see, now they have spread you abroad. See, my family is spread it abroad. And now, see, my brother, my daddy, my, see, these people that wouldn't have never been shit. Now y'all look up to them like they something. And I'm saying, what are they other than thieves? They stealing me. And then they, they like the Pharisees. They like the chief priests. They done fell in love with the power. But they starving me for the power. See, they like doing me like Esau. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm telling I'm reading it. They starving me and they acting like they the chosen ones. They the goddamn thieves. They the ones that's going to build a golden calf. They not going to blaze no trail for you to travel on because they're not leaders. See, they are followers of, of, of false idols. See, I'm showing you the law, so I had to use the law to let you go on legal ground. See, Moses let the Israelites travel on, gri uh, on dry land, but it was water on both sides of them. See, I'm allowing you to go on legal footing, and I'm showing you the evil on both sides. So see, now the cross is not a stationary thing. Now the cross has turned into a road of freedom. See, and now the thief is on his cross and the murderer is on his cross and you now Jesus' cross is toned down. See, there's no cross for the innocent no more. I paved it and I made it a legal route, see, to get to your own freedom, your own prosperity after the devil tries to set to take you to prison or the grave or both. See, he took me to jail and I'm taking him to prison. <laughs> See, he attempted to kill me and now I'm killing him. See, with, e with every evidence he gave, I'm giving evidence. See, but he, his evidence and her evidence through the state of Florida is fabricated. So I have used their fabricated history as evidence. See, Obama being the president. See, uh, Trump being the president. See, that's fabricated evidence. See, I'm inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida as the president of the United States of America. But black people don't believe it. But what I'm saying is if, if I took the Constitution from the elected officials, how then are they um, constitutionally ordained? If I took the constitution from them in court, then how then do they swear to uphold the constitution without having already violated it in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning? in the federal courthouse in the middle district of florida on february 20th in 2018 at 9 20 in the morning and then in the osceola county courthouse in kissimmee florida on january 4th in 2024 at 9 30 in the morning so when did they get the constitution from me when they violated the constitution like adam so if they broke the covenant how then are they judging people with the covenant they broke when I'm using the covenant to charge them with violating the people with the covenant that they broke? But y'all say, I'm not him. And I'm saying, where well, they are them. Look, it say, it say, and not for that nation only, but that also he shall gather together. See, so that's he now is Jesus, right? Don't y'all go hear about Jesus. See, so look, but that also he, they not saying the high priest got out, but they saying that that murder is what is bringing y'all to church. Should gather, to, should gather together in one, the children of God. But I thought he the son of God. So what God are they now talking about gathering when they, they didn't consult that God when they were talking about killing Jesus? 
but now they now interjecting God in. So what God if it's not the high priest Caiaphas? Because that's the one that told him that it'd be expedient that Jesus must die. So what God was they talking about after they killed Jesus? That were scattered abroad. Then from that day forth, they took counsel to for to put him to death. See, so now they starve him. They couldn't put me in. They put me in jail. They couldn't put me in prison. So now they starving me because I became the king that separated the sheep from the goats. See, I'm saying, don't y'all see your damn preachers is now done took up counsel against me. But y'all paying them for services that Jesus did. But now y'all won't pay me for the legal services that I provided. Even when I'm telling you what amendment that says that you can't question it. I'm saying Amendment 14, Section 4 says that you can't question my bounty. So I am he who put a bounty on them who put a bounty on me. See, they put a bounty on Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. After this conversation, this is when G uh, Judas was paid 30 pieces of silver. Now I want to know who got paid because they somebody killed my son. I saw him in a casket. See, now I'm trying to figure out, man, are y'all lying? Like, what's going on? What you doing? See, you study trying to run me crazy, but I'm gathering evidence so I can part you like the Red Sea. And then I'm going to collapse the Red Sea on your ass. See, this all this evidence is the water. See, so you think, I'm saying, uh, do y'all not understand what I'm doing? I'm making a case against the devil and you are their children. So see, we now in Revelation, well, you all, you have already been destroyed in Revelations 12. Now this, now Jesus is telling you your fate in, in the King James version of the Bible Hub edition of Matthew 24 verses one through four says, and Jesus went out. See, now Jesus done left out of the spiritual world. See, and departed from the temple. See, he, he now he out of there. And his disciples came to him. That means now, see, all of y'all out of the church now coming to Jesus. See, you his disciples for to show him the buildings of the temple. See, that's your golden calf. See, they were showing Jesus. Look, look, and watch what Jesus say. And Jesus said unto them, see ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be cast down in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in 2024 at 9.30 in the morning. In hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world on January 12th in 2024 at four o'clock in the morning. And as he set upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came un unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in 2024 at 9.30 in the morning. In hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world on January 12th in 2024 at 4.01 in the morning. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. 
in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world on January 12th in 2024 at 4.02 in the morning. It's why I, for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Council Sr., am now asking God for whom are Allah's children. See, now, this me asking you who are gathered in this generation with me the same thing those for whom saw Jesus privately asked him. See, now I'm asking you because you are the disciples of Jesus. See, you are the ones who's supposed to be telling me. You're not supposed to be starving me. You're supposed to be taking the evil spirit out of me. you starving me. You ain't doing nothing Jesus did, man. You taking from the poor and you you doing business with the rich. And I'm not asking God for whom are all our children and hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. Allah for whom are God's children and hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. And my for whom name is King Tommy Chancey Council Sr. of Four Councils Incorporated's Atheist children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. When will the Holy Bible ever tell Christians for whom are defined as one who professes belief in the teachings of Jesus Christ, for whom is defined as the Jewish, te uh, Jewish religious teacher whose life death and resurrection as reported by the evangelists are the basis of the Christian for which is defined as a member of one of the churches of Christ separating from the disciples of Christ in the in 19 in the in, in the 1906s message of salvation so see um, see remember how they were saying uh um I was showing you that John 11 said that they separated. So this is why a member of one of the churches of the of Christ. See, so now it was churches of Christ separating from the di disciples of Christ in the in 1960. See, in 1960, the church separated, uh, churches of Christ separated from the disciples of Christ in 1960. I mean, excuse me, in 1906, excuse me. See, so this is what I'm telling you. This is according to the Webster Dictionary. See, so this is me teaching you. Not I'm not preaching to you. See, I'm breaking it down through definitions. And I'm saying, see, this is what they say. See, when we was denied the right to, to read and write, this is what the Europeans was, see, they was saying, oh, no, you don't know you. And then they separated. Listen to him. Of the are the basis of the Christian for which is defined as a member of one of the churches of Christ separating from the disciples of Christ in 1906 message of salvation. See, so that's two messages. That's just like Adam and Abraham, who is the father of Islam and Christianity. See, but it's split. See, so this one man then split religion. And then now in 1906, the church of Christ separated from the disciples of Christ. See, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally saved. So what I'm saying here, since I broke it up, I'm saying when will the Holy Bible ever tell Christians to save for which is for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary? So, okay, look, I'm, what I'm saying is because I, I want to I wanna make sure you kids get what I'm saying. Because the Christians telling me that they'll never save Jesus because it's in the Bible that he must die. What I'm showing y'all is what the Bible says. The Bible don't say that God said it because God is Moses. Moses is the one that the Lord gave the law to. The law says that Jesus wasn't supposed to die. So now you have to see now that the high priest Caiaphas who became the high priest that same year is who said Jesus had to die. He the one that transgressed the law of Moses. 
Just like the judges transgressed the laws of the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964. See, so what I'm saying is why save someone that didn't save you? These judges shouldn't be allowed to desecrate God. See, they, if they don't believe in God, then take God's name out of court. See, because Pontius Pilate didn't, didn't um, save Jesus, and now they put God's name in the court, and then they didn't save me. But now that I'm now, because I get, I'm pissed off because you brought God's name out of church, and you brought it in court and you tried to crucify me under the name God. So I rose to that title. So now I can now protect you from the state. But now see you are with the Pharisees, you with the chief priests, but who now gonna, gonna defend Jesus in the judgment hall when, when your church gonna say that it's always expedient for you to kill one man? See, when will your church tell you that it is expedient to save that man? Like my wife told me to forgive y'all, like Pontius Pilate's wife told him to save Jesus. See, she said, don't have nothing to do with that man. That's what my wife told me. Say, Tommy, forgive him. Now I see what she was talking about. I'm saying, oh, but you know what? My baby, my mama had already told me. See, that's what I'm telling her. I'm saying, listen, man, I was coming into being my mother's son after I had failed at being my father's son. See, I succeeded at being my mother's son. That's what I kept trying to tell my wife. I'm saying the more that I talked to my daughter, the more I heard my mother telling me how far I was away from me. And so then I started, see, getting myself in line with who my mother told me what I needed to do to be that person that I told her I was. See, I had started rebelling again. See, they had started pissing me off. And I started going back to being my father's son. I started tracking them. <laughs> See, and now my, I heard my mama. See, she said, boy, stop. It. Boy, what you doing? Like, and I'm saying, well, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> She's like, no, no. See, do it this way. You said you wanted to be a lawyer. Nah, you need to go back home. See, that's what I'm telling y'all. I'm saying, see, my mother taught me off the cross. And now I put Pastor Willie C. Barnes on it. I put these judges on it. And then I paved the road to freedom like I said I was going to do because I listened to my mother tell me to be me and not my father. See what I'm saying? I was trying to be my father. And she's saying, you can't be him. You got to be you. You going to be in them same situations. But you got a mind. Don't let nobody take it. That's what I'm telling y'all. But anyway, see, but. Okay. Um, ever tell Christians for whom are defined as. Well, see, no, that's what I'm telling you. So when would the Bible ever tell Christians to save Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee? That's what I'm saying. So now. So this is what I'm, so that's the synopsis of what I'm saying. So now I'm going to give it to you again and hold. When will the Holy Bible ever tell Christians for whom are defined as one who professes belief in the teachings of Jesus Christ, for whom is defined as the Jewish religious teacher whose life, death, and resurrection as reported by the evangelist are the basis of the Christian for which is defined as, for whom, I'm going to say for whom, for whom are defined as, no, 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 it, I'm going to say one, because it says one, a member of, okay, so the, uh, I'm saying are the basis uh, of the Christian for whom is defined as a member of one of the churches of Christ, separating from the disciples of Christ in 1906's message of salvation. Legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, or federally. See, I'm not, or federally saved. 
See, I'm saying I did it all. I'm wondering when the church is going to do it either legally, historically, biblically, religiously, because you didn't save Jesus biblically. You never saved him religiously. You never saved him spiritually. You take advantage of him financially. You, 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 you take advantage of your followers mentally, and then you federally deny the taxes that you owe. So see, you have never saved Jesus in no dominion or no dimension. So now, save for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as to preserve Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee from danger and loss in your hood, project, community, school, college, university, church. Wait a minute. Well, I'll tell you. Okay, this is it. Okay, yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah, let me get back. In your hood, project, community, school, college, university, church, temple, synagogue, mosque, detention center, jail, prison, or judgment hall anywhere in the world. Is why I, for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Castle Sr., am not asking God for whom are Allah's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. Allah, for whom are God's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. And my for whom name is King Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. of Four Castles Incorporated, atheist children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. What is my for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. of the United States Navy's Truth for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as accuracy in the recounting of events in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning and in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in 2024 at 9.30 in the morning's restitution, for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary is legally defined as a body of su substantial, substantive, substantive, damn, I gotta go back, substantive, but let me see, cause it sounds crazy, so, <laughs> you know, I tell one up, so. <laughs> yeah, I tell one up, well, I tell you, so, let me go see what's happening. Yeah, you know, what with grandchildren and thinking in the future. Like, Damn, that ain't what that say. <laughs> Granddaddy don't know shit. <laughs> so I don't want to say that. So I'm trying to figure it out. Let me see. Okay, hold on. I'm saying it's substantive. I know that, but I, I'm trying to see. Hold on. What's going Substantive. I told you, substantive. I told you, it just didn't look right. <laughs> okay, let me get myself together. Okay, substantive. It didn't look right, but let me try. Having substance involving matters of major or uh, practical importance to all concerned. So, so see, that's what's going on here. Okay, where I'm at now. <laughs> he died or lost it. Okay, wait a minute. Well, what? Okay, wait. okay, here there. Substantive law in which liability is based not on tort or contact, but on the defendant for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. of Four Castles Incorporated, legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal revealing of the angels of the dragon, that old serpent, the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, the high priest Caiaphas, the Pharisees, the chief priests, the high priests, the scribes, the elders of the people in Jerusalem, uh, the temple in Jerusalem, the judgment hall in Jerusalem, the descendants of the high priest Caiaphas, Pontius Pilate, the Pharisees, the chief priests, the high priests, the scribes, and the elders of the people 
in the church, uh, uh, elders of the people in Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church in Edenville, Florida, in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th and 2008 at 1040 in the morning, in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th and 2018 at 920 in the morning, and in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th and 2024 at 930 in the mornings, unjust enrichment in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning, and in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in 2004 at 930 in the morning.